Welcome back, everyone. Well, Franciscan Health Center has a program aimed at helping patients and family and caregivers transition back to their everyday lives after undergoing cancer treatment. So it's called Moving Beyond, and it's a free 12-week program, I'm happy to say, open to anyone. So joining us today is Kim Ziner and Alberta Johnson. And Alberta, you said we get to call you Bert, and yes. I love that name. That's an awesome nickname. So ladies, thank you for joining us. Kim, we were saying right beforehand, this means a lot to me because cancer has touched almost everyone's lives, whether yes. you're a caregiver or you've had it personally. Can you tell us a little bit about your involvement with the program and who can participate? Uh, the, you've said the uh, magic words in that uh, my involvement with the uh, program has been from the beginning. Uh, my, my medical director, my boss, Dr. Erica Rager, said, Kim, we have to do survivorship in a better way. Oh. I, and uh, we were doing individual appointments I, and I was working with individual people and she said let's do a small group effort mm -hmm. um, because survivors and caregivers can learn from each other, we can learn from them and uh, she said you know let's work on that and so we did. We partnered with Cancer Support Community here in central Indiana locked ourselves in a very small room. Oh, good and things happen in small <laughs> rooms when you're locked in there with you know, <laughs> and hammered it out. Okay. And uh, ran it by a pilot group and uh, they uh, gave us some suggestions for adjustments and it, it was born. And so. how long ago was that? How long has it been going uh, on? Fall of 2015. Okay, so we're going on our fourth year and Bert, you've had experience with it from the caregiver's perspective, right? Yes. What did you receive? What do you, what do you think the average caregiver needs to be supported? Some of the challenges mm -hmm. that you went through as a caregiver. As a caregiver, I had a, a lot of questions and my husband was the patient. And I had a lot of questions because um, as you're going through treatments, you know, you always wonder what can you do here? What can you do there? Or what should I be doing? Or what could be happening? And they just don't have enough time in a doctor's office to sit there and explain mm -hmm. the whole process. Mm -hmm. So uh, my husband finished his treatment in um, May, uh, February 2018, and he was um, had a three months period of healing. And then in May, they uh, told him, you know, we're going to start seeing you every month. So then late fall, they said, you know, would you be willing to go to this Moving Beyond program? And we said, well, what is it? So they said, well, it's um, kind of like nutrition and educating you, plus it'll get you back into exercise because, you know, every cancer patient goes through a ruling. Right. I mean, it's just hard on them. Okay. I mean, you know. So we started in January, and um, it, it got the fire going. I mean, there, it answered a lot of my questions, my concern. You know, why are we flying on a kite, what, two days? and then the third day you're down and not feeling well, you know, how, how can that possibly be? So Kim has, her program has educated us in many, many ways. And I strongly advise that anybody that's yeah. gone through cancer and is in the healing process to go through this program. Great. Well, even as a caregiver, you yeah. know, I went with it, my husband, and my, right. it educated my husband, and it got him, you know, It thinking, helped the both of you, mm -hmm. it sounds like. So we just mm -hmm. have a few seconds left, but Kim, it's open to anyone. Anyone. You're a survivor yourself. Yes, I am, 30 so years. So your heart's in this. <laughs> yes. How can people access it? That's Call what we me. need to know. Three Call one seven. Kim. We've got her number right got it. there. <laughs> That's it. That's me. <laughs> and the best part about this is it's free. It's free. So you don't even have to be signed up with Francis. And you Health. can attend as many times as you want. We love it. Thank you Thank for you. supporting the people that need it in our community. Thank um, you. Yeah, and all the good work you both do. <laughs> we appreciate you, and congratulations to the both of you. All right, Phil.